In this video I will talk about how you can allow the player character to interact with different entities. You can use the enable icon command to allow the player character to interact with an entity. After you use the enable icon command for an entity, that entity will be highlighted when the player hovers over it with the mouse. If the player right clicks on that entity, a radial menu appears that shows all the available interactions. The content of the radial menu of an entity depends on all the enable icon commands that you used for that entity. When the player clicks on one of the interaction buttons, Camelot responds with this message based on the name of the interaction and the target. It is your experience manager that's responsible for waiting to receive the message to execute other commands in response to the player interaction. Each button of the radial menu shows the name of the interaction, an icon for that interaction, and a short description. The last argument of the enable icon command specifies whether that interaction is the default interaction for that entity. When the player left clicks on an entity, Camelot generates the message for the default interaction of that entity. Finally, you can use the disable icon command to remove the available interactions from an entity. 